Welcome to the channel everybody. Uh, today I have this. This is a transmission um, and it is a DT12 transmission. If you don't know what a DT12 transmission is, it is an automatic transmission uh, from the Cascadias. Uh, most Cascadias from 2013, 14, 16 and up, they have automatic transmissions like this one. Newer ones are going to have similar, uh, but um, uh, there, there are many types of automatic transmission for this one and um, but that is going to be a separate video I want to do a separate video for that so today I'm going to show you what I'm doing to this transmission this transmission came out of this Cascadia that I have behind me and um, the issue with this transmission is then <laughs> here this is the cloche um, the actuator for the cloche <coughs> I'm sorry this is not getting power it's not getting air pressure over here we have a line that comes from in here this line over here this gets air to here and this one activates this one right here and when that happens you, this uh, close actuator expands and presses the clutch in so the input shaft releases pressure I mean releases the movement of the engine and then you can synchronize the gears here um, the issue right here with this one is then this is not getting air for some reason there is air but the air is not enough looks like uh, we have an issue with um, the transmission control module this over here, this is the transmission control module and this is the one in charge to let the air go in different ways and uh, when uh, the transmission control module detects and there is a problem, it's going to tell you a code, it's going to send you a code to the computer, to the engine computer or whatever, to the dashboard, telling you that there is a problem with the transmission. So. This over here is the electronics over here and the whole module over here are the mechanics. This is a motor that moves the gears and this one too they move the gears in selections and that is what it moves over here for selecting the gears one two three four five whatever gear and over here these ones are the range selectors. But anyway, this is just basics about it. Anyway, um, the DT12 transmission is going to have the control module and the control module is going to throw air to this line over here. And this line over here is going to get pressure to this one and it's going to release the clutch. But uh, this one is not getting released for some reason because or either the clutch is bad or uh, I mean the control uh, um, the transmission control module is bad or we have a leak somewhere and the leak could be right in between here and there so uh, there over here could be a leak in there and that leak could be caused because we have uh, a damaged housing and uh, for some reason uh, the way to fix this will be to replace this one we want to replace this one with a used one that we have and if the problem doesn't fix there we are going to discard this transmission and get a different one because this transmission is going to be bad but uh, explaining you how a automatic transmission works is very complicated it has so many things that I have to explain but this is a basic and uh, if you wonder this is the sensor over here this sensor is the one then uh, then detects how much pressure you're getting and if this sensor is not working right you're gonna have similar problems but um, if everything is working fine everything is gonna be internal anyway um, if this is just basics on this issue uh, I think um, I'm going to keep looking 
on this issue. Uh, I have no idea how this issue is going to be solved. We have been working on it for a while already and we are not getting to fix it yet, but I will try to get it fixed. And as soon as I get the solution, I want to post it on, uh, on, uh, on YouTube in a different video so we can see that. Just a general talk about it. But uh, I'm gonna leave the video right here because uh, there is not much to explain right now, just the basics on the problem. But uh, if you have questions about it, just comment below. Comment below for questions and solutions too uh, for any other problems that other uh, subscribers are getting at the moment. And probably they're dealing with transmissions like this, with issues like that, so you can help you know, if you have solutions to that. And uh, be sure to uh, check the description of the video where I have details how to send support to the channel. You can support me in different ways if you want. And um, make sure uh, to uh, like the video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.